Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the episode of Great Locks. I'm Gunther the Great and today we're going to be reviewing your guys' dreadlocks and I've been waiting to do this for so long. Hey, what's up? I've not been here in a long time. I don't think I've ever even shown you guys uh, my hair, like actually speaking to you guys. I've been doing a whole bunch of transformation. You guys seen all that stuff on the main channel, Gunther the Great. If you have not already subscribed to that, go subscribe to it. Just recently, not too long ago, we hit 200,000 subscribers and also not too long ago, I combed out all of my dreadlocks. You can go watch that whole series on there. It's a really cool series. It took a while. It took me about three months to get rid of all of them. I can do more videos on this channel, but things are still the same. We're still doing all kinds of reviews and dreadlock reviews and all kinds of stuff like that. It's going to be really awesome. There's going to be added content to this channel, so I'm excited to be doing that. You guys have already seen bits and pieces of it with the braiding videos and the haircut videos but in today's video i'm gonna be showing all the love to you guys so make sure to go follow the great locks page on instagram we're almost at 5,000, like literally not even that many away from 5,000 followers so go give us a follow and make sure to tag great locks to be featured on any of these reviews or for me to even look at your pictures and all that stuff makes it easier to find your stuff but let's take a look at everyone who tagged great locks already so if we head over to the tags right here, we can see that we got a few people that tag great locks. So we're gonna check out a lot of people's dreads and then see what else we can find on here. So deep locks tagged great locks and yo, he has some dope dreads. They look kind of like starter locks almost. Looks like he had them from March 17th to March. Oh, so it's already been a year. So those aren't starter locks. So on the right, we actually have his year mark, which is really cool. Yo, they look good. And I can tell you one thing is like over the time, his dreads are gonna keep getting better and better. And it's really cool, it has a lock jewelry in there. Looks like he just did the either, I would say towel rub or sponge rub method. Just stayed patient and kept with it. Now his dreads are looking really dope. Looks like he got the high top set of dreads. I'm telling you, like after a good three years, his dreads are gonna have a nice length to them and they're gonna look really cool. So moving on to another brother right here, Justin Collins 18, really dope locks. These are like Wiz Khalifa locks right here is what I would say. And they look really well maintained, really matted together, which I always think that looks really cool. Overall, just really dope locks. Also, one thing you can notice is that his tips are very pointy and at the same time, they're very blunted off. And you can see that some of them are breaking off at the bottom and that is very normal. With dreadlocks, you can see that they're kind of detached and beaded up at the at the tips, and that's very normal. That happened to my locks all the time. And one way you can stop that from happening is crochet needling the tips of your locks into the dread so that that loose hair doesn't turn into a ball and then fall off. Happens all the time if you don't pay attention to it. I think it's really cool. It's cool how his locks are tapered from the root all the way down to the tip, and it's just a really consistent taper all the way down to the tip, and I think that's really, really cool. And right here we have Ryan Kapui, I think that's how you say his last name. And he has some really dope locks. I want to see if he has any other pictures to where I can see a better picture of them. Yeah, they're really cool. I like how they're super natty. Um, I don't know if they're freeform. They kind of do look freeform. Or maybe he did like a sponge rub or towel rub to start off. Or he could even just twist it and lock them up and then just let them go afterwards. But I just like the way they look. They look very, you know, just natty is what I call them. Like very natural. But overall, really dope locks. Moving on to Jim Junkie Ray. It has a cool picture and also some cool locks. He has some dreadlock jewelry in there as well. I see he has like, like wooden beads and like the metal pieces in there. Really cool. It looks like his tips are dyed. I'm gonna see if he has any other pictures. So yeah, right here we can see that his dreads are dyed at the tip. Some of them are, this is what I would say kind of look like Denzel Curry dreadlocks when he has the wicks and then I'm not even sure if he still has his hair, but I know that he trimmed it um, not too long ago but how he had the wicks and he bleached them and they had like a bronze color they're like bronzed locks and i think that's just really dope a lot of people don't like the bronze lock look um, i like it a lot of people prefer the blonde or just any brighter color or like the red or a different color or anything like that but you don't really see many people rocking the bronze locks but i think this looks super cool and it looks like he has some combined and it looks like they're interlocked and i think i got it down right there that he does have these interlocked but overall some really dope locks here we go some some water it's always good like being in the water like when you have your dreadlocks just because you can like shake them and they're really heavy and they actually hang really well especially during the earlier stages but this is uh the beer or dab artist but yeah it looks like you have some starter locks they look like they're in there though they're probably not starter locks you probably had these for quite a while but a full head set of dreads is pretty dope and here we go another high top set right here in my opinion like high top is the dopest set to have just because i had them and not only just because i had them just because but i've liked the style ever since 
like I can remember that was like the number one style that I've always wanted to get was high top dreads and then I ended up getting them and I just think still they're so cool and I think this stage right here is a really cool stage to be in like the starter stage one thing I can tell you about dreadlocks with the high top fade I feel like they fit a little bit better during the beginning stages and they don't look as ugly and I'm not the person to call dreadlocks ugly or going through the ugly stage because people always call it an ugly stage when you're going through the beginning to getting all that growth in I would say personally for me it was the most pleasing to go through it to having a high top set of dreads just because the fade almost makes up for the ugly stage even though i never called it that all right and here we go i was super stoked when i seen that i got tagged in this photo just because i think this is so dope and so bold and to tell you the truth this dreadlocks look really cool this is let's see if i can get his name right i think it's milan kohler hey i got it right or collar or something like that anyway dope set of locks man i like i'm gonna end it on this because these are some of the dopest dreads i've seen especially with the straight hair dreadlocker i'm gonna take a look and see if they're actually his real hair hair or see if it's extensions but overall these are dope i'm super stoked on their dreads bro these are actually really cool make sure to go give him a follow because this dude is killing it i feel like he's definitely setting an example and kind of um being one of those people to break down barriers i don't like when people hate on people like this like you know either white people with dreadlocks or asian people with dreadlocks or just in general anybody besides african-american people that have dreads i don't see where there's a point to you know look down upon them or anything like that I think it's really cool. I think it fits. I can see that it fits his personality. And I think it's really cool to see someone with straight hair or a white person or someone from a different country get dreadlocks. Not only just because it's bold, but it's because they don't care what other people think. I guess that's the definition of bold. But overall, what do y'all think? I think they're really dope. Um, I don't think they are extensions, but there's one way to find out. This dude takes dope photos, by the way. Yeah, this is him right here. So yeah, those are not extensions. His hair is really long. I think they're just straight sometimes just because of maintenance. Because what will happen is if you're using crochet needle all the time on your hair with maintenance, it'll straighten your hair out. It'll straighten your dreadlock out because it's stiff and it needs time to, I would say, recover and then like get comfortable and then loosen up. But overall, really dope set of dreads. Make sure to go check out the Great Locks page. We're close to 5,000 followers. And make sure to subscribe for more videos. And don't forget to tag at Great Locks to be featured on this channel. Other than that, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.